Hi everybody, I'm Andre Ali and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply eyeshadow, all the tips and tricks, what brushes I use, what colors I recommend if you're a beginner, how to mix them and match them. I know that seems like such an easy thing to do and if that is the case, this is probably not the tutorial for you but I got a lot of requests from some of you in here telling me I should do a video and tell you how you should properly apply eyeshadow because it's not that easy for everybody and there's something I need to tell you for everything like a beautiful makeup something that's very nice well blended it all takes time I know that you see me here like five minutes working on my eyes but for real, I take longer than that. So if you're looking to, to practice, I suggest you to take half an hour or 40 minutes for yourself to uh, do your whole makeup. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and please click on that ring bell button. This way you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video. And if you'd like to see how to apply eyeshadow the right way then please keep on watching so i'm getting straight into this tutorial i got you close to my eyes the first thing that i like to apply when i'm doing my eye makeup is a base for my eyelids now you see that my eyelids are a little bit brownish there are people that have eyelids that are a little bit pinkish or even bluish so I like to start with a black canvas, so this is why I like to apply concealer. Of course you can use an eyeshadow primer, there are so many out there. Stay Don't Stray from Benefit, Urban Decay has really good ones. I honestly don't really use eyeshadow base. For me the concealer is like my best friend. And I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So what does this do? First it's just going to prime your lids, this way your eyeshadows are going to blend nice and seamless. It's going to help those eyeshadows to be more saturated, to blend. So let me apply it. I'm gonna use a Zoeva 142 brush. And this is the kind of brush that I like to use when I'm applying something creamy. So this is artificial hair. I'm taking my concealer in light medium. I like to first apply the concealer on my eyelids with my finger like this. Just dot it. Like so. And then with the clean brush, I blend Now I feel like I need to apply a little bit more in here. After you've applied your base, your concealer, whatever you prefer to use, even the soft ochre paint pot, it's very popular for this step. If you like to use that, go ahead. For me, the concealer, it's perfect because it's a little bit more hydrating. Then I like to set the concealer with translucent powder. And I'm using the one from Laura Mercier. And I'm just gonna use this brush from Hakuhodo to apply the powder. I make sure there's just this light dust of powder all over my eyelids. When applying eyeshadow, you make sure that you have some brushes. Now, I know that some of you are like, oh, I don't like to use brushes, but for a really soft, very beautiful gradient, beautiful application of the eyeshadow, you absolutely need brushes. Okay, so these these are blending brushes, which I love. The gray ones are from Zoeva. You can find a million brushes like this over the internet. Zoeva has really good, inexpensive brushes. So does Morphe. Uh, these are MAC brushes. I love them so much. I love MAC brushes. I'm going to use a Morphe M573 brush. This is a blending brush, like I said. When you wanna do a really beautiful gradient, you wanna start with your lightest shade. So I'm going to start with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. So I take the eyeshadow on my brush. I usually do this 
so that I take off the excess. And I apply this color usually in the crease. I go with my brush wherever I want the most of that eyeshadow color. And also it matters a lot where you're holding your brush. If you're holding it close to the bristles, you have more control and the color becomes very like focused. But if you're holding your brush more from the the end of your brush, you have less power. I usually hold my brush from here and I just do back and forth motions like this. You hear a lot of people calling this color a transition color. What does that mean? It means that it is that color is going to help all the other colors that you're going to use blend together. What I tell my clients when I do seminaries, I tell them to, if they don't know what colors and how to mix the colors between them, usually the transition color, I match it a little bit with the bronzing powder so I make sure that they're the same. This way you will have a beautiful mix of colors on your skin so it doesn't look like too much makeup. I don't know if it makes sense or not but you could absolutely use your bronzing powder for this step. It's perfectly fine. Now I stop around here, you see? Like right here, this is where I stop, even though it looks like I'm going I actually stop there. The next color that I'm going to use is going to be my favorite. You've seen me using this probably in 50% of my tutorials. This is Phone from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now the reason why I like this eyeshadow so much is because it goes with everything. Like really, it, it goes with every single look it's so natural and it works with so many skin tones now i'm taking a 221 brush from mac this is another blending brush but it's smaller it helps me get right in the crease right here and this is exactly what i'm doing with this brush i am applying the eyeshadow in the crease you see me the way i look in the mirror i'm not I'm not doing this, okay? I'm not doing this. I am just relaxed in front of my mirror. If you don't have, there are a lot of women that don't actually have the crease very obvious. You can just feel where your crease is. If you touch right here, if you touch the bone, it's right under, you see, it's right under the bone. That's where your crease is. So again, I'm not, I'm not holding my brush from here because it's just too strong. So I basically, I deepen up that eyeshadow. It's very similar with the first one, but just a tiny little bit darker and warmer. Then with the same brush, I'm applying the same color at the outer corner of my eye. If you want, you could even extend your eye shape with this eyeshadow, give the illusion of more elongated. I don't know if you can see, I'm doing almost like little circles and I take my time. My videos are usually like 15 minutes long, but if I were to show you exactly how long it takes me to do this, it's longer. I like to take a clean blending brush right when I think I'm almost at the end with my eye makeup and I'm just going to blend the edges like right here and also here. So a fourth color would always be something with some shimmer and I love Gleam from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just take it with my finger like so and I place it right in the middle of my eyelid like so now with an, the other finger the clean finger i just blend the edges you don't need a brush for that actually i feel it's just my opinion that these uh foiled um eyeshadows or 
shimmery eyeshadows, they, they apply much better with your finger. I still have a little bit left on my finger. I didn't take any more and I apply it again. I want to have it more intense. With the same finger, I can apply the same eyeshadow in the inner corner. All right guys, so this is, this is it. I would really like to know what is it that you struggle with when you apply eyeshadows. Uh, and if you have no eyeshadows and if you want to buy something, I would suggest you to try to get something, some neutral colors so that you kind of get used with applying eyeshadows and then you could adventure into like purple or blue or green or whatever you would like to, to apply. I am more for having single eyeshadows that are specifically for your needs than getting a whole palette that you're using more like three or four colors in total. I mean, I'm guilty of buying huge palettes just because of one or two colors that I'm like obsessed with. But, but you know, I'm giving you an advice in here. <laughs> now I'm going to go on with this makeup and I'll be back uh, in a second. I've done my makeup really quick. I've used, um, oh my God, I'm all over the place. I've used MAC lip liner in Strip Down and then I've used MAC uh, lipstick in Creme de Nude. It looks like this. I've used this product for uh, my uh, cheeks. For the glow, for this beautiful golden glow, I've used the Becca highlighter, the new one in collaboration with Sanana. She is a French YouTuber. I feel like this is one of those looks that everybody can pull off. You could absolutely do it with just three eyeshadows. It doesn't really matter the colors. I just gave you some options, but you can use whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And please click on that ring bell button, this way you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video. You can get more tips and tricks about makeup and just beauty in general. So follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!